vlogmas number three chat i just got home i don't know it's been a weird evening well let me take that back i didn't just get home i left school a little late then i in my head i was gonna go to walmart so i actually drove to walmart and sat in my car for about 30 minutes and then i had to go to the bathroom so bad i was like joy you either gonna make it home and go to the bathroom or you're going to be doing a pee pee dance as you're walking into walmart hmm what do you want to do i went home child never went into walmart so it is what it is it is almost 10 o'clock at night i made me a sandwich my school computer teacher's edition textbook I got to prepare for tomorrow. It is never ending. But I just wanted to jump on here real quick. And then I ended up, no, I take that back. Then I ended up talking to Bobby for over an hour. So I was in her room chit-chatting with her. And she was telling me about her day and all this other stuff. We was talking about college and blah, blah, blah. And then we were going to do a vlog together. But it's 10 o'clock and I'm tired. And I know my knees probably ashy. They ashy. Look at this, y'all. That's some ash. <laughs> That's ash right there, y'all. Ooh, babe. <laughs> babe. Ooh, wait. Y'all ain't know I was light skinned. It. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Oh, Lord. I could write a whole essay on this dry skin, babe. She's sexy. Look at. Ooh. Ooh, that feel good. <laughs> Okay, anyway, the reason I'm here, I wanted to stop on here real quick before I jump in the shower. Oh, let me eat my little, I made me a little ham and salami and Swiss cheese sandwich. Not a fan. So let me tell you. Mm. So I just want to tell y'all, I have this girl at school, right? And she's very talkative. I don't know, but it was something I could sense with her. And I called on her one day to go do an interview or something. Because sometimes the media department that's, you know, is ran by kids. They'll come in and ask if they could interview somebody from the class, one of the students. So I called on this. She was like, me? You want to call me? I can go. And I was like, yeah. She was like, you don't have to be nice to me. And she's always been like a little helper. But I was like, yes, you're welcome. And then she went out and did the little interview and stuff. Came back in. Oh, they asked me. Blah, 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 blah. And so, um, I don't know. It's just something. Sometimes you have a connection or you can feel something. And with her, I, I felt something with her. Because I don't think she's used to favor. Like, I don't think she... I think she experiences um, getting in trouble a lot. Or not people praising her. That's what I get. But she's real. She's really a sweet girl. You just have to know how to take her. She's never disrespectful. But ooh, a little talkative thing. And you can tell she's smart. Because she, her hand is always up in the class. So... And uh, she was, she swore she had something done. She had something done. I was like, no. I want to send me a picture. You get home 4.30, send me the picture. Email it to me at 4.35. That didn't happen. <laughs> so whatever. But I, you know, respected her ingenuity. Then I told her, I said, I want to talk to you. So I, that's what was the reply. And so she came in class. I had the rest of the class waiting the hallway. I was having a conversation because I have to get them hand sanitizer. And she walked in while I was straightening up the room before the next class came in, right? So listen, listen, listen. And I said, how is your home life? And she looked at me and her face changed colors. And she was like, terrible. And then I said, and I, I could just feel it. It was just something. Um, and she said, terrible. And I said, well, let me tell you this. I said, my brother, my sister, they had their issues with drugs. I was a little more graphic. They had their issues with drugs. My father, then 
my mother was you know innocent bystander which pulled her in all of them passed away from their vices you know I said it in a different way and um, I said but even from a little girl I looked at them as who I did not want to become because we do not have to become our environment you know it's part of our experiences but we don't have to allow those experiences to hold us back or to become those experiences I said I was the first to graduate from high school the first to go to college so we have choices in life and if you want something better in your life you have to fight for it I had to fight for it I had to want it no one else could do that for me I said let me be your example of climbing out of a dark hole and starting my own little empire my own life my own world and I said am I super super successful absolutely not but I'm not where my family is I said I'm the last surviving member and honey she was crying and crying and crying she was crying and I just said you are very bright I said you're very bright you're very witty you come with you know you have stuff to say you have um, feedback and you give things back to the class I said you if you have all the tools there but it's what are you gonna do with the tools that you've been blessed with and only you can do that you have to do something with those tools and if you uh, want to be somebody and do something different than your environment you have to make it happen I said because I see something special in you but you have to want it okay I said look what I've done and then I just gave her the biggest biggest hug I just hugged her I was like you know it is what it is she needed that hug I think I think she needed that those words of encouragement I think she needed someone that maybe she could relate to I don't know but she she was just crying and I, I just I just sensed something about her I don't get that feeling from anyone else there's another little boy but he's quiet he's always quiet I don't, I don't know I can't read him but he doesn't talk much at all mm. But that little girl, there was a there was a connection. There was something that that led me to her, and I, I just love her the pieces. And she's full of energy and full of life. That I hope that she uses her gift in a positive way to make an impact on others, make an impact on this world, and be that shining star that I know she is. So I think that was my gift for this Vlogmas and for this holiday season. Hopefully I've touched her heart and touched her soul. And just like you can touch some the lives of others, maybe even a hug, even through all this coronas. Sometimes somebody just needs a hug. You need somebody, uh, needs their encouragement. They just need you. Even if it's just your words. And I hope that my words were a gift and I hope they inspired her or gave her that sense of hope that I feel as though that she needs. Sweet, sweet girl, sweet girl. And um, I just hope I was a blessing to her. And that's what I have to share this Vlogmas. The gift of kindness, of love, compassion, that's what I have. And I'm like, well, does this mean I need to hang up the towel? Does this mean I need to throw in the towel? Hmm. So with that said, my, so with that said, my card was full, so I had to delete some videos. So with that said, guys, um, when you think about this holiday season, maybe people need more than the materialistic things it could be a hug it could be a conversation it could be a phone call which i don't do phone calls too often i i, I that's a problem that i've had since i've been a little girl um it could be a text oh shoot i got i do have to call my friend back she called me said she needed help but she was in a good mood so it wasn't like a panic help so i do have to call her back Ooh. all right guys so just once again i know i'm repeating myself just think 
about how can you touch somebody's life this holiday season and it doesn't have to be materialistic things even a card how about write a letter write a note slip a card to someone even if you say hey just think about you i want you to have a blessed blessed day because you're special or something like that do you know the power of that that's a lot that's very powerful all right, guys, with that said, happy Vlogmas this holiday season. I'm going to finish my sandwich. Mm. Mm -hmm.